just been doing the rounds as I usually do of all the uh, camping supply stores to see if they've got any other interesting 12 volt appliances. And I was in the joint I uh, got my NGL fridge from. Um, and I remember when I was in there getting it, something that a bloke I was talking to said to me. He had a fridge, a car fridge, and basically he didn't use it for about two years. So he put it in storage for two years. And he said, I pulled it out and went to use it and like a week later or something was dead. Um, and reading my NGL book, I also remembered it said the same thing. Don't just store them and forget about them altogether. You've got to turn it on and run it every once in a while, like, you know, for like, you know, a few days every month at least. So if you are offered a fridge at half price or less by a friend who used to use a 12 volt compressor cartridge but hasn't used it for like two years, a year, quite a while and he's going, oh look mate, I'll help you out, I'll sell it to you for half price or third price or something like that, don't bother buying it. Say thanks but no thanks um, because it's very liable that in a week or two it'll fail you and you'll say to me, mate, well, I want my money back. And he goes, oh, well, what did you do? You must have wrecked it, da-da-da. You can stuff up a good friendship. Um, and basically, you know, what is a fridge at one-third the price if the thing's dead in a week anyway? It's still a waste of money, you know. <laughs> so uh, I just thought I'd throw that one up there because it's a trap that you may fall into trying to buy stuff cheaply and then get yourself something that's cheap but dies after a week or two. Um, so that's just a little uh, warning tip uh, for you that I, I thought I really should mention.